Hi guys and welcome to Swedish Dennis. Today I'm showing you this. The Mercedes-Benz C300 convertible. Excited? I am. Let's check it out. This is the C300, so it has well above 200 horsepower, uh, actually 258 horsepower. It has also, of course, the dynamic modes, uh, which are eco for the ecological, where you can do actually the sailing, uh, meaning that uh, when you go from the accelerator, uh, the car just goes into neutral and sails. Uh, the second one is the comfort mode, which is standard uh, used uh, in, the, in the car when you start it. Then you have Sport and you have Sport Plus. Uh, right now I'm in comfort mode and the car is quite quiet. The gear changes are very early, so it's pretty, pretty much a normal drive. If you go for the, for the uh, Sport Plus, for example, uh, even the sound of the car will change. So as I said, for example, right now I'm in the comfort mode, and if I do a kick down, it sounds a little bit. It, little, it sounds a little bit nice, but. Put it into Sport Plus, and you hear already like a uh, bassy sound. Because the, the car is a lot more sportier than, uh, than usual. And you can hear the turbo whistling, and actually, when the gear the changes are, you hear like this kind of a bassy, uh, not, not explosion like if it's an AMG car actually, but you hear like a really nice, like, boom. Uh, of course, you need to. Uh, get into really high RPMs, yeah. This car has uh, most of the extras you can, uh, you can add on. Uh, the only thing that I'm really missing, and uh, it's sad that this car doesn't have it, is actually the uh, seat cooling. Uh, because it's black leather seats, summer, sun, it can get quite sweaty uh, on, your, on your back, so uh, it would have been like the maybe best option to also add it to the car. But uh, everything else, like the Burmeister sound system, the electric seats, the di digital uh, command, and everything, uh, is, a, is a really nice touch to the car and it makes it uh, a lot uh, more exclusive. And the funny thing is actually uh, in the GLC I, I have uh, I have also the premium uh, plus package which also includes the Burmeister and, and this kind of things. Um, in this car the sound system is just so strong. I, I, I can never play it on the highest volume. And in the GLC I must say I played it quite uh, often. Not on the maximum maybe but quite high and uh, in this car I get almost 50% is the maximum we can go uh, because then it's too loud. So uh, I guess this car has a really, really strong uh, sound system even if it's more nice than both and uh, both are kind of like a C-Class or the GLC is uh, the, the C-Class that's uh, the SUV version of the C-Class. Um, this is the convertible version but the sound system is uh, actually quite different. Uh, it's a lot more strong in this car uh, than in the GLC for example. And as I said, uh, the, the, it doesn't have the cooling of the seats but it has the heating uh, which is nice in, in winter time. 
and it has the air scarf, which is a, which is a really nice feature, especially if it's a little bit uh, like, like a colder day. You just put it on, and it really it makes like a scarf when you put hair uh, around it. It just comes out of the headrest. Um, so that's a really nice feature. Uh, I, I haven't seen it in so many other convertibles, uh, so maybe it's a Mercedes-Benz thing. Um, but it's a really uh, good uh, thing to have, especially on the colder days, as I said. such a nice weather it's really nice it happens like one time a year as the Swedish uh, always joke about uh, they say summer is the nicest day in the year it's it's true it's true we don't have a lot of uh, warm weather but yeah in Scandinavia it's not uh, Italy or Spain so I guess we have to accept it like that yeah Open or close uh, the roof. It's actually uh, 20 seconds. I checked it. Uh, I can show it to you. It goes quite quick. So you just push the button, and the windows go a little bit down, and, and the roof closes. Uh, you're not allowed to drive faster than 50 kilometers an hour, uh, otherwise, it will just stop in the middle. Um, but I tried it even if it's 50 kilometers and uh, some wind, it still operates normally, so no issue there. Opening, same thing, you just pull the, uh, the button up, the windows go down and the roof opens. I actually don't know if it's the same time opening as closing, uh, but it's quite fast, so there's no, uh, no issue there. inside so what you can see immediately is the steering wheel it is the new steering wheel if you look at it uh, on the left side you have also the touchpad you have the cruise control which you can turn on and off you have the speed limiter I don't know who uses that uh, then you have like the home button you have the uh, go back button and then you have like the, uh, the touchpad on the right side you have the phone and radio um, and uh, the, everything you want to do on the right display for example. Actually uh, what I like a lot is the cruise control on the left side uh, because before it was behind the steering wheel and you had to look uh, for it, you had to try to figure out how it works and so on. So it is really nice they put it into the front. You are greeted with a really nice uh, and we'll try to show it to you as best as possible. Uh, with a nice display you know I'm against the Sun of course but you have uh, the all digital display you have of course the speedometer in, in the uh, on the left and I switched on the uh, music on the right you can actually choose what you want to have you can have the navigation system as I have it to the, uh, right now or you can just uh, choose whatever you want to have the so you can have the normal RPMs, or you can have the navigation system, you can have the echo, uh, echo display, you can have the from start display, and you can have the G-Force and RPM display. In the middle, of course, you can also choose what you want to have, but it's more like the standard settings, how many kilometers the car has, what's your range you can drive, for example, the fuel consumption and so on. What you also can do, which is quite cool, is actually to change the display settings uh, and the design of it. So for example, now I have the classic view, but I can, I can go for the sport, which makes the entire uh, thing a little bit more sporty looking. Uh, it's yellow, but actually also the progressive uh, is quite nice because it shows a little bit more futuristic you have more the G-Force uh, on the right, but you can also change it as, as, as usual and show the RPMs, for example. 
So it's kind of the same what you can show on the right, but the, the look and feel is different. So in the middle, nothing new. Uh, you have a bigger display on the top, which you can uh, uh, use the same way as before. In the middle, you still have the old uh, touchpad, which is quite weird because the uh, GLC uh, that also has the facelift has already the new MBUX. So this display is actually not the touch display even if it's the new facelift. In the middle, here, you have the buttons. Uh, one for putting all the windows down. This is, of course, for putting up the roof and uh, lowering, lowering the roof. And this is to put up the, uh, the wind fence, which is actually uh, in two pieces. Uh, one time, it's this one in the front. And in the back, you have this one. Germany has more uh, traffic deaths uh, per capita, I don't know. Sweden wants to get on zero, but uh, I don't think that works as long as the cars don't drive themselves. Maybe then, because you always have the human factor, of course, uh, when you're driving. like what Mercedes actually has done uh, with the cars. If you think back like 10 years maybe, the cars were quite boring for younger people. It was more a car for older people. I'm really honest now, the cars, they are beautiful, they are modern. I would even say like if you look into the E-Class with the double screens, it's like Mercedes has really become a premium brand also for the younger people, and that's actually a, a really good thing. Actually, I think you can also drive a convertible in winter time, at least if it's not like really cold. 
tried it when it was 12 degrees and with a with the air scarf around you and the heating of the car it was actually quite okay of course if you drive faster than maybe 50 60 kilometers per hour uh, it gets cold but uh, in the city it was quite okay yeah, yesterday actually something funny happened to me uh, it was uh, I was driving on the highway uh, 110 uh, as the speed limit uh, and I was, uh, it, it started raining, but really like raining. It wasn't only like dripping or so, but it was raining. Uh, and I was of course driving open, uh, so there was nowhere I could stop. Uh, so I was driving and actually it was uh, quite okay. Nothing, uh, I didn't get wet, uh, also the back seats uh, didn't get wet. So I was like, okay, let's, let's drive. And I, as long as I stayed over 100, uh, it was working pretty well, so no, no issue there. Uh, then uh, a big truck uh, went in front of me with 80, uh, actually going uh, uh, around another truck, and then it started raining. Um, I know there are some brands, uh, I, I don't remember exactly which one. Uh, they say if you drive faster than 50, uh, actually you can drive open even if it rains. Well, in this car, uh, and as I tested, uh, it was about 100 km an hour. But of course, this car is also quite long. I think it was a mini uh, convertible or something like this. Uh, quite a small car where you could dr uh, drive open even if it's raining, uh, if you're above a certain speed. But 100 km, no issue. Uh, it's not something you, I would recommend you to test, but uh, I had to test it, yes. So with this it's time to end for today. I hope you enjoyed my video and I will come back next time when I will look at the GLC 220 Coupe. About the C300 convertible, it's an amazing car, it's fun to drive, it's beautiful, it's modern. I enjoy it every day. So take care and see you next time. Bye bye!